It's Gibbo, and this is the Irie Jam 360 Weekly Wrap-Up, your recap of everything noteworthy which has taken place in the reggae and dancehall worlds over the past seven days. Brought to you by Irie Jam Radio and Irie Jam 360, the Caribbean full circle. Coming up, Steel Pulse tops Billboard's reggae albums charts, Coffee drops a new remix with Governor Jamil, part of the Cricket World Cup anthem. Sunfest Festival Night 1 closing acts revealed. Sizzler removed from Reggae on the River and much, much more. Steel Pulse's Mass Manipulation debuted in first place on Billboard's Reggae Albums charts. The project, which is the band's first studio album since 2004, includes the singles Stop You Coming and Come and Cry Cry Bloods. This is the first time Steel Pulse have topped this countdown. They have upcoming shows in North America in June, July, August and September. The other new entries in the top 10 of the aforementioned chart this week are the Life of a Ghetto Youth Chapter 2 compilation and Jamiri Morgan's self-confidence. DJ Khaled's Father of a Sad entered Billboard 200, their multi-genre album chart, in second place. Buju Banton, Sizzler and Mavado are featured artists on the album, which also samples Billy Boyo's One Spliff a Day and Diana King's Shy Guy. Coffee has dropped a remix of her single Rapture with Governor. A video for the track can be seen on YouTube. Coffee's June 12th show at the Grand Mercy Theatre in New York has been postponed until September 12th. She will also perform at Brooklyn Steel on September 11th. Jamil is one of the artists who contributed vocals to Uber's official 2019 ICC Cricket World Cup anthem, Wayo Wayo. The other four acts who are part of the song hail from India, the UK, New Zealand and South Africa. The Cricket World Cup is currently underway in England and Wales. Squash, Chronic Law, Javilani, Shane E and Unknown Gringo are expected to close Festival Night 1 of this year's Reggae Sunfest, which will take place on July 19th in Montego Bay. Other artists set to perform on the same night include Chronix, Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, Spice, Agent Sasko, Dexter Daps, Spragger Benz and Elephant Man. Buju Banton, Beres Hammond, Protégé, Remain Virgo, Christopher Martin, Janine, Zoltan Harris and Etana are scheduled to take to the stage on Festival Night 2. Sizzler has been removed from the lineup of Reggae on the River 2019. The event's organisers made the decision after coming under pressure from the local LGBTQ community. The event will take place August 2nd through the 4th in Northern California with headliners Toots and the Maytals and Damien Junior Gong Mali. Damien is currently on tour in Europe, the UK, Belgium, the Netherlands and Greece, the countries he's passing through. Return to Jungle, a new album from UK-based outfit Chase and Status is available now. Artists who can be heard on the LP include Kabaka Pyramid, Massacre, Coco T, Cutty Ranks and Buru Banton. This year's first staging of Carter Van Pelt's Coney Island Reggae on the Boardwalk is set for Sunday, June 9th on the Boardwalk at West 20th Street from 3 to 7 p.m. Music will be provided by a host of top selectors all playing on Chanter the Timeless Sounds. An offshoot of Reggae on the Boardwalk, Brata in the Bronx, will debut in Cretona Park in July. Former Jamaican Prime Minister Edward Siaga recently passed away in Miami on his 89th birthday. Siaga had a passion for music. He founded his own record label, West Indies Recording Limited, in 1959 and was also involved with production. That does it for this edition of the Irie Jam 360 Weekly Wrap-Up, brought to you by Irie Jam Radio. Be sure to download the Irie Jam 360 app for iPhone or Androids. Log on to iriejamradio.com. Keep up to date with Irie Jam Radio on social media and follow me personally at Gibbo Presents. (laughs) 